Well, there are some warnings out there for people looking to buy a used car. And I do have my top five used cars that I personally wouldn't buy. Uh, you'd have to really make sure that they are a good car before you uh, sign up for it or put your name on a piece of paper for it. Um, great looking cars. I mean, that's the thing about JLR. They make amazing looking cars, but unfortunately uh, they are inherently unreliable. And uh, the Freelander and Discovery are, they, although they are considered workhorses, uh, they do fail quite often. They are a tool in a box that constantly breaks. Um, so yeah, I'd stay clear of one of those unless you know what you're looking for. Um, this is a, a controversial one, but it's any one litre EcoBoost at Ford. And that's because, again, you know, it's so hard to fix, so hard to put right. Uh, you have to find somebody that's willing to work on it. It's hard phoning around uh, mechanics that are willing to work on it because they don't want to touch them. So that's one that I'm steer clear of. Again, unreliability issues and the car's as dull as dishwater, um, but it really is a, you know, an unreliable car. But I suppose the reason why that's in there as well and the reason why I know about the unreliability is they've sold literally millions of them. So there's tons of them out there. So, of course, uh, you're always going to end up with a higher number of unreliable cars. Um, a car that really is a surprise uh, for the German mark BMW is the 1 Series. It recently topped a poll of unreliable cars, uh, the BMW 1 Series, uh, with customers saying the average repair cost is about £1,500, uh, which is a bit of a shocker, really, for people. So if you're going to buy a 1 Series, have it checked over thoroughly before you buy it, uh, because uh, they can be very unreliable. Uh, and also another car to be weary of uh, is the Subaru WRX, the 2.5. Uh, that also shows up in unreliability uh, polls often, and that's because of the head gasket issues. Um, you know, you don't want to go and buy a car, drive it down the road and the head gasket goes. That's the last thing you want. So make sure that if you're going to go and buy one of them, look through the history, look through the paperwork and see if it's had a recent head gasket change and maybe look for a different make of gasket, something that's going to work. Um, so yeah, uh, now my top five that I would steer clear of unless I had somebody thoroughly check them over for me.